Hello, Interverse. Crypto G here, coming at you with another Lightworks video tutorial. What's up, my tutorial crew? Okay, as the as the name of the video suggests, as the title suggests, I'm going to teach you about freeze frames. Now, Lightworks is great for loads of things, but I find having been used to another sort of other professional systems it is it can be a bit clunky and as i was just trying to work out how to do a freeze frame for a particular title effect that i wanted to show you guys i found that um it was actually it's it's a bit tricky to do a, a freeze frame and then when you do it it's quite tricky to get kind of how long you want it to be and it's it's fiddly it's fiddly especially for someone who hasn't used um an editing system before i can imagine it could drive you quite mad it did drive me mad so i'm going to show you how i did it um you might have a better way with lightworks if you do great stick with it if not let me show you okay so what I did here is, um, as you can see, this is the home screen. These are the various projects I've been doing. Uh, if you're new to Lightworks, all of these will be just empty gray spaces. OK, so come up to the system settings um, and you'll see user interface. Your, your um, menus might all be closed like this. Uh, they might all be closed like this. Um, in that case, just click user interface and go key assignments then basically just flip down until you find freeze frame and you will find this it's all in alphabetical order it's mostly in alphabetical order um, and here we go freeze frame and you'll see just from here it's about halfway down the menu you know there's a load of stuff at the top um, which is not in alphabetical order and then you go down about halfway freeze frame now i've already done this uh, as you can see um, all i did was assign a key i double clicked on it i chose my key uh, i pressed n on my keyboard and that's that's what it looked like there and then i said add key and so we can now see that freeze frame is now n n for november n for new you can then close that there's no sort of save or whatever you once you've done it you've done it now we can go in and i can show you why i wanted to do it and um what uh in particular i was doing it with okay we'll call this freeze frame test choose the frame rate uh, I'm gonna go 24 because that matches my footage if you don't know yours go to auto I'm gonna go to local files gonna bring in my favorite skateboarder clip and uh, then we're gonna go to editing view switch to editing view uh, I don't need audio I'm gonna turn off audio and I'm just gonna bring that in I'm gonna bring that in now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to where i know my uh where i want to freeze frame which is it's seven oh there we go it's seven seconds and 18 frames which is as we can see up there um and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hit the n key okay so now this here is all a freeze frame from the start, oops, from the start to the end is a freeze frame. Obviously, this bit beforehand isn't. This is the bit that leads up to it. I'll just play that. It's the uh, seven seconds and 17 frames that leads up to it. And boom, there we go. It stops. So I now want to use it. If I now want to use that, I'm going to add another track here. Add video. I'm going to put this to let's put my playhead to uh, exactly where it should be. I'm going to hit A on my keyboard, and that means it'll go back to that cut. I'm going to lift up there. I'm going to go back to the beginning here. I'm just going to bring in the whole clip again, 
um because obviously i know exactly how long it is and where it should be uh let's zoom in a little bit so that we can see what we're doing um i'm going to turn off v2 which is the video track that's um i've just added and let's see so we start at 17 it's, in fact let's just jump forward to see that we start at um yeah, seven, seven twenty one, seven twenty. I haven't lined it up perfectly, but it's okay. Seven twenty. In fact, let's line it up perfectly, shall we? So we'll go one, two, and just bring that back. Let's see, seven six. Uh, yeah, there we go. It was at seven eighteen. Okay. Um, so we're lined up now. I'm going to go to. Uh, 10 seconds let's, let's go to nine seconds 23 to 10 seconds that's fine so it's lasting just over two seconds then i'm going to simply pull that back i should have done a marker there actually uh, let's do that properly seeing as i'm trying to explain nice and clearly in these Feynman things i'll go here press a marker yeah that's fine marker Okay, uh, description, I'm just going to put FF for freeze frame, and then I'm going to hit return on my keyboard, um, and then, yeah, do what I was, do what I was going to do, which is come back here, and just drag, oops, drag my still up to there. Now I can turn this video back on, and so you can see, oh no, then the last thing I want to do, or the next thing I should say, is make sure that I am on there, there we go, um, is press C on my keyboard, and that has given me a cut in this bottom bottom video track, and I'm simply gonna scooch this at a lot, scooch this along so that it lines up with the end of my still. And here we go, so the end effect is this hit play come along boom freezes and then carries on okay so that's just a nice quick easy way to freeze frame um and trust me i mean i'm i'm an ex-pro editor i've used a lot of quite complex systems and i found this fiddly as hell until i realized hey what's the short keyboard shortcut can i manipulate it through there and i found that i could um yeah you might have seen some other tutorials and showing you other ways but i trust me i couldn't find any clear tutorials especially for this version 2018 version um, we're now in what December 2018 I downloaded this just over a week ago so the November 2018 version I could not find a clear concise explanation so hopefully I've just given you one and you can go and create freeze frames and use them for effects I'm going to do another video next on a particular title effect which is why i wanted for freeze frame in the first place so uh make sure you tune back for that but for now crypto g out